Hello, hello guys, this is your boy's online mentor back with another video, guys. Uh, on today's video, guys, we're gonna be discussing uh, which direction do we think the market is gonna go to, and why do we think the market is gonna take that direction, right? So, I'm gonna be checking out the charts with you, explaining the charts with you so that you guys get to see what is it that I do before I decide to take my trade. So, as you can see, there's this vertical line here so this vertical line here serves a purpose because from this trend now the market is forming a new trend right so that's why i decided to draw like this uh vertical line here on my one hour then when i switch to my 30 minutes when i switch to my 30 minutes you can say that okay this uh, has been here for the longest time so simply meaning that we are expecting a what a push to the downside we are not saying it's going to happen now but it's a probability that okay the market has to it is retraced to the downside right and then since we see this we can easily jump to our 30 minutes time frame now so this is uh, our 30 minutes time frame on a, a clean chart where we're gonna be like doing all of our what our analysis right so since we're gonna be drawing our analysis there uh let me just delete this so remember guys we trade based on a uh, supply and demand right so as you can see the market has been like a uh, uh, pushing to the downside so the overall trend of the market ever since it has been a sell so if i can draw something like this you can clearly see that okay uh, probabilities is or the probability is the market might come here and then after touching there because we are saying we are interested in selling opportunities after touching there it might push to the downside so maybe it will push to the downside to come and form a what to come and form a head and shoulder pattern here because previously the market respected this point so maybe it might come for that level if 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 and then like if it decides to break maybe it's gonna come for this level here so remember guys there's also other uh, levels we see for example like this one this one obviously is gonna be your first tech profit zone so meaning that if the market can break this you can add your trades from here to here remember just from here to here you can make a 1k or more you understand so it's a zone where you can like be free or be able to add like your trade so as you can see even now there's this a uh, small supply level here where the market is playing around so maybe it's gonna push until here maybe it will turn from this point we don't know so we're just gonna have to wait for the charts to react and then that's when we're gonna conclude that okay the overall uh, reaction or the overall direction of the charts it's a what it's a downtrend so as you can see this is how it looks like as you can see guys this is how it looks like or this is what we are having on our um German date. so overall a uh, conclusion here it's okay the market if it breaks this point obviously it's coming for this uh direction or for this uh previous high which is a what which is a trend line which is a what which is a resistant trend line right because we have so many touches on that trend line. so if it breaks it and then that's when we're gonna expect a retest and then a continuation pattern to the upside that's what we're gonna be expecting but for now i'm expecting the chart to at least turn from here or come here and then push a little bit to the downside that's what we are expecting on what on german date because even the trading system that's what is telling us that okay now it wants to push a little bit to the upside so that it can reach like a previous size point and then retrace to the downside so that's what we see on German, right so <clears throat> we're gonna jump to us we're starting with the trading system guys as you can see this was a buy so um it was a little bit difficult to catch the buy but i did see the buy and i did post a video where i was explaining the buy guys um so the reason why i'm saying it was a little bit difficult uh, is because started buying as soon as the market opens i think around 12 or 1 i'm not sure so but somewhere they started buying so obviously at that time most of us were sleeping so it's uh, a little bit difficult for you to 
catch uh, such trades but we're still gonna catch a trade i know this is gonna trace and then we're gonna catch like a continuation so this is a clean push to the upside or this is a clean buy um, um market structure right so if i can add these to my technical so that we all can get to see what is it that's happening uh we're just gonna add uh, usdt to the technical charts so as you can see guys uh what we're having is this so uh, you can or we can all clearly see that we have like a double bottom here uh we have a clean double bottom here and then since we have a double bottom what else can we conclude or can we say about uh, the structures we see here so as you can see the market broke this this is a neckline guys this is a neckline so this was supposed to be my entry point uh, why am i saying an entry point because we know or we all know that from here the market has to come here actually like this is a nice spot for you to enter your trades as long as your account is big guys you can like enter from there and then you hold uh, until the market comes here so the take profit guys is this level here so but the market is like i feel like it can still come for a retest here before it goes all the way to the upside because if i can draw these guys if i can draw this from here and then i do this we can all clearly see that from here we can all clearly see that from here this is a clean breakout and retest so this is the neckline as you can see the market just broke the neckline and then after breaking the neckline it was an easy trade to the upside guys so as you can see German tech is gonna push the first profit point is gonna be here that is more than enough guys that is more than enough so remember the charts can still buy for a whole day guys so we are not that late we are late but we are not that late because this is the first breakout candle this is the second breakout candle uh, we are experiencing now so the one which is gonna come up now is gonna be the third uh 30 minutes breakout candle so yeah guys uh let's go to one hour and see what uh, does our one hour say so as you can see even on one hour we had like our first breakout candlestick um, and then the market has been rolling to the upside so this is a nice level to take your buys um, if you feel like you are late you can just wait for a retracement the market is going to retrace you can just be patient and wait for that uh, small retracement right but if your account is big enough to sustain all the drawbacks uh, the, the, like the retracement you can just like execute from there because you know that okay even if it doesn't retrace my account can survive um even if the it like it says your account can survive that you can go in but if you know that you can't survive the retracements guys you just have to wait for the market to uh, form like the proper retrace, a proper retracement and then you can go in but the first tech profit guys it has to be here the first tech profit it has to be here so if i can go to five minutes here just want to show you what i'm talking about if you can go to like your five minutes time frame here and then let's say you're expecting a retracement from here at least you can say you're expecting the market to retrace to here and then after retracing to there and then that's when you can like expect it to do what to push all the way up right so or it can just simply shoot all the way up until it gets to this point and then from there it starts selling because even like with our trading system we can clearly see that the system or the market is showing us that it's a bullish market so we're gonna go to our five minutes and check uh how does it looks like so as you can see guys we will definitely gonna have like a small investment there so the best way to trade guys i always preach uh you go in the chart you lock your profit you, or you lock whatever you have and then you wait for the charts to give you a re-entry so we are done with usdt and then we are jumping to okay guys we don't have a uh, time to check out nasdaq i'm gonna make a different video where i check out nasdaq and i'm gonna record for you so for those guys who need the lessons and stuff don't forget to highlight me thank you so much for your time guys